Et eh bien bonjour à tous les amis, j'espère que vous allez bien, nous ça va super, on se retrouve une, nou une nouvelle fois euh, Excusez-moi les gars, je bégaye parce qu'en fait euh, là ils sont en train de tout rem remballer Là déjà on entend les, les, les bacs de bière euh, partir Les gars on se retrouve pour ce troisième jour de la Gamescom Nous sommes en compagnie non pas d'un français, non pas d'un anglais mais bien d'un brésilien Nous sommes en compagnie de Tricky comme à chaque fois d'ailleurs Nous sommes avec Raphaël Et les amis aujourd'hui ça sera un peu particulier parce que Raphaël ne comprend pas le français du coup, nous, on parle anglais, mais on n'est pas bilingue et vous le savez. Donc, les gars, on va devoir faire une interview en anglais avec Raphaël pour son jeu qui s'appelle For The Element, que vous voyez là juste derrière. On l'a donc déjà sur Steam, les gars. On va déjà, euh, je pense, on peut déjà lancer le jeu juste pour l'avoir déjà dans le fond. Euh, vous allez voir, les gars, ça va être super cool. On va faire ce petit truc voilà en anglais. On va lui poser quelques questions. Et la première question, et ça, merci à mes cours d'anglais. Hello, Raphaël. How are you Oh, I'm really happy. Thank you for having me, guys. This is like amazing opportunity. This is the first game we're releasing on Steam for ourselves without clients. So it's a very huge occasion. I'm very happy to hear, be here with the Belgian booth. And uh, j'ai tout dit le français. One day I'll be speaking. Uh, and the game will be localized to French soon. So with your help, we'll have it also in French. So thank you very much for having me. I think one thing that's really fun to say, I can bring the controller and you can play instead of the keyboard on the controller. It will be easier. Okay, okay. I'll bring the... It will say place well on the controller. Okay, it's better with. Yeah, I'll bring it for you guys. Just uh, keep the light on, come back with the controller. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Alors là les gars, donc il nous a dit qu'il était très content, que c'était une belle opportunité pour lui, voilà, d'être 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 en Belgique, de pouvoir présenter son jeu, c'est son premier jeu. Euh, on a d'autres questions à lui poser directement et ce qui est vraiment cool aussi les gars, c'est que là il a été chercher directement une manette. Alors déjà les gars, regardez l'écran d'accueil derrière, le jeu je le trouve super beau. Euh, je trouve vraiment ça très sympa euh, et apparemment ça serait mieux de jouer à la manette voilà donc euh, nous les gars euh, on, on peut jouer bien évidemment euh, je pense que si je mets le micro comme ça ça devrait être oui, mais oui, oui. en mode on pourrait jouer euh, clavier souris mais il dit que c'est mieux de jouer à la manette euh, à mon avis les, les contrôles ont été étudiés pour euh, donc là on, on voit déjà que techniquement c'est assez joli donc on va voir un peu hein. on n'est pas au courant donc on ne sait pas spoil euh, concernant le gameplay l'histoire du jeu donc on va découvrir tout ça on va aussi lui poser des questions pour voir un peu ben, comment ça joue, euh, est-ce qu'il y a du multi, solo, euh, on, va, on va un peu voir, euh, voir tout ça et on vient d'avoir donc la manette. Euh, la manette de Raphaël là à l'instant même les gars, très belle manette, j'ai envie de lui voler, je vous C'est une Xbox Series hein, ça, est on n'est pas sur la voie mais on est sur la Series donc un peu voilà, plus, euh, un un peu plus, plus de gamme, un peu plus qualité. C'est très bien de jouer avec ça. Ok, donc voilà, c'est mieux de jouer à la manette donc on va, on va commencer euh, tout de suite. Um, so uh, we will discover uh, the game. I will put that here, up, and, uh, tac, 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 maybe, yes, perfect, <laughs> yes, okay, so uh, we, uh, we see the game, um, first of all, a, a global question, can you describe uh, the gameplay on the game in a few sentences, in English for sure, yes, well, The game is about the four elements of nature. They uh, figure out that they are trapped in the same body and okay. they don't know why or how or for how long they have been there. So they have to kind of collaborate to understand what's going on and how to get rid of that situation. Uh, but the fun thing is like, you can imagine the four elements, water and fire and air, they don't get along that well. So there are some funny questions in the between. Uh, it's a very interesting game. It's a Metroidvania platformer. Okay, Metroidvania. Okay. It's a bit hard. I hope you're good players because oh. ah, it's challenging. <laughs> it's challenging. The people that I know who like the most the game are people who like hard games, and they feel you know challenged and okay. say, okay, I want to beat this thing. So I, I want to see how you do. <laughs> okay. Je t'invite à lancer directement la, la partie. Yes, the, okay. the controller is working. Moi, ce que je propose peut-être aussi, c'est de regarder les skins peut-être déjà. Je sais pas s'il y a les noms. Can, can we see the skin or not? No, no, no skin okay, no, for, so for the moment. I'm gonna play, so I'm gonna play. Let's go. Ok. Um, on va sortir directement une petite partie pour découvrir. Uh, donc voilà, le jeu, les gars, c'est un Metroidvania en 2D. Uh, un platformer, donc un jeu de, un jeu de plateforme. So, uh, I think uh, we will use uh, some element for uh, the puzzle or for the platform like the fire to burn uh, some uh, some plants or whatever. Yes, the idea is that during the tutorial now you will learn how each element behaves a bit. Uh, of course in each region they will get more power. So if you visit a realm that's like fire and air, so it's the ashes realm, you get one power for fire, one power for air. You remember Mega Man games? When the yes, order yes, that you yes, kill okay, the bosses yes, give you okay. a new power and then the next level okay. is a bit harder or easier. That's the thing. I will not give any hints, so you can choose any doors. Uh, but 
it's easier if you face them in some order. Uh, it depends on the player's style, actually. So some people will like more the fire power, some people will like more the water powers. The idea is that they are kind of balanced, but it's hard, you know. So they have different uh, roles. <laughs> nice. I thought this was too long, you know, people are dying too much. But the idea is that you have to change between them and learn how to change between them okay. to interact with the puzzles and also the enemies. So some places you have to kill or it's easy, like Mega Man, when you have a special yes, you, you shoot for one boss. You can't uh, finish the game with only one element. You you must be you no. must use uh, all yeah. the, the elements. Okay. You're obligated to use all of them, but you can play mostly with one if you like. It will be harder in some parts, harder in others. It's a very difficult balance. If you want to make it like, ah, you can't play with all or you cannot play with all, it will be less fun. So. You have some choice, you know, you like your style. And uh, can you tell me the, the, the difficulty uh, to um, uh, to bring some... Uh, there are so four characters and uh, with... Um, uh, it's a, a little bit difficult to use uh, all the characters and, and maybe in the development uh, also uh, with the level design. For uh, balancing, you mean? Yes, for balancing and also with the level design uh, you must uh, be uh, balance uh, all the, the characters uh, yes. for the game. This was a struggle and of course we counted a lot of the playtest of people so I really, I'm always happy when I see people streaming the game and playing the game because we learn so much and uh, we can bring, you know, 10 people, 20 people to play in front of you, it will be one thing. But when you release the game and I love watching the streamers, so sorry I'm not watching live but usually when someone's streaming one of our games, I try to connect and uh, answer and talk to the, the fans and everybody and people seem to get really happy with that. So the most important thing is we we learn how to do the things in the game, so we need to see it from a fresh eyes perspective. So we like to see people who never played it as the last build, everybody was playing just as air. Right. So what we did, we <laughs> we nerfed we never, air a bit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, we made the, the uh, earth hit a little ha harder. So we try to balance those things, but they, it's really impossible to play the whole game with just one of the characters. But you can like try to fight the boss with just one character, it will be really hard, but if you manage how to do it, it's possible. I'm really curious with one thing, those games are like indie games, they are meant to be played for two and a half, at most three hours. I'm really interested to see how the speedrunners will do with the oh, game. Yes, because it's a very good game for speedrunners and they like challenge. And some friends in Brazil call this the Souls-like Metroidvania because okay. it's so hard. Uh, yes, uh, I don't think it's that hard, I don't think it's that hard because I did the game. But uh, let's see how he thinks. <laughs> I, I think uh, uh, playing uh, four characters is a really good cool feature uh, for the gameplay uh, because uh, they uh, that bring uh, some um, varieties uh, and that's, uh, that's uh, really fun. Um, so you say that um, Mega Man was a, a, a source of in inspiration. Uh, there is all uh, there are old game or mm -hmm. other game uh, that uh, inspire you uh, for the. Wow, for this, uh, it's it's impossible not to think of the latest successes like Celeste and so many Metroidvanias that we had. Uh, of course, we don't plan to be such type of game but for instance if you see the author you see that he shoots like Mega Man yes. but then the air flies a bit like the double jump that you have in Celeste and we took like the good thing that the genre is really good now it's hard because it's more competition but then we learned a lot of things that make the games good to play like uh, more dev talk here dev dev stuff we like the coyote time I don't know if many people know about it but the first time we did the game if you are not under the floor then you cannot jump so the first thing that time someone played said, Lontra, this is not how we make platformers because, I don't know, reality, you should be on the platform. But to make a fun game, uh, you can lose a bit the timing. So we, we learn a lot from those good games. Uh, I like I love Metroidvania. I like Metroidvania a lot. So, ah, oh, now it's done the tutorial. Now the fun will begin. So I think most of them are inspiration, but none of them works like that. I will, be, I will say one secret. We first thought to make the game with the four characters played separately multiplayer, co-op. Okay. But we didn't know how to make it at the time, it was going to be a bit harder, so we made this as a pre-sequel. This story is when they get out of their bodies and they, they will see at the end of the game the real challenge that will be the next game. So for the moment that's a solo player game? Yes. Um, maybe no, it will be this version will always be a solo player, yes. but we want to make another game another soon game, uh, where you play them separate. With co-op cooperation. Yes. Okay. Um, I see there are uh, a lot of dialogues uh, in the in the game. It's for tutorial and or they are a story. Uh... They are mostly story because uh, you know as I mentioned the elements have a thing between them. They don't get along very well. 
Each one of them has their own personality. So I think this adds a bit to the story, and I am one big fan of stories. I'm graduated also as a music teacher, so I like the lyrics, I like to understand the between the things. Uh, so we have very creative uh, rotaries, also writers for the game. I love them. What we had to do is make it easy to jump, yes. because there are stacks. And uh, one thing that we learned also, the tutorial is mandatory. The mandatory tasks in the game, we make it unjumpable because or else players will lose yeah. the information. And since many of the information is not necessary for the game, they learn, you know, I don't have to watch all, so they yeah, were okay. getting lost. Okay. So we put some barriers so that the important information is mandatory for you to watch, but the dialogues you can skip and whoever likes it will watch. Okay, um, so uh, now the game is uh, available on Steam. Yes. Uh, we can buy it or, or um, uh, what, what about the... the the economic model, uh, it's a free, uh, it's a with skin. Um. No, the idea is we want to have the golden package for people who want the skins. The yes. skins. We yeah. actually did a Kickstarter campaign, so the skins is just for a few of the users who okay. pre bought it on Kickstarter. The button shouldn't be there, but it's still there. <laughs> and we will want to open in a few, maybe months, the option to make a gold version, buy a gold version, then you get the original soundtrack separated. The things that you could buy on Kickstarter, you get, we will try to sell on Steam. But it's like premium game, you buy and you have the experience. Uh, one of the features is like the achievements. For Steam is nice, but I think on the consoles, people will really like to have the 1000G in two and a half hours, or Platinum in two and a half hours. Uh, so the game is available on Steam, but also on uh, console, like uh, consoles only in Xbox, January. PlayStation? Yes. We were approved as the This is the first game that we're re releasing and self-publishing. So we were approved by Nintendo, Xbox, okay. and Sony to make the game, but now we got the dev kits. Our team is working on porting, it's a lot of work. We had no experience, so we plan. We were about to release it in December, but it's very, very busy time. Yeah, but it's very busy, so we decided to go for January. We will release on the consoles in January, but uh, I saw it running already on the consoles, it's nice. <laughs> yes, uh, and I, I think uh, playing uh, this game on Nintendo Switch with a portable yes. version that's very, yes. very fun. And, uh, um, it's a light game and uh, it's, you know, the time is enough, you can play in one session and have a lot of fun. It's very good also for some streamers who like to beat the game in one stream. So I found that niche of people who like to share the game like that, it's very good. Some people will be doing that tomorrow, the next day, I'm, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and uh, how long uh, it takes to develop the game? This game took one year and a few months, but okay. I will tell something about Mito Games now, the company. We are a 23 people company in Brazil. Okay. But for this title, only five or six people were working and not full time. Yeah. Not full time, like, okay. Because we have clients, you know, and the bills are expensive and, you know, the revenue for the games is not for sure. Although even the game, I think it's good, but you have to have the marketing, you have to have the community, you have lots of things. And so we made a company, we structured the company in a way that we don't depend on the success of the games now. What I want is maybe in one and a half, one year, we can stop having clients to do, not websites anymore, but to do applications and all sorts of things. I'm not saying we don't want to do it, but uh, we want to change the focus, you know? Or at least have more and more people working on the entertainment and less on the clients. Okay, um, so uh, maybe if I want to play uh the game um, on Steam, uh, what's the price uh, of, uh, of this game? It, uh, it's supposed to be appearing for sales now. It will be seven euro ninety nine. Okay. I think it's a reasonable price in Brazil. It's a bit less. In other countries, a bit less. But the thing is, it was supposed to go live now. I think it didn't go yet because I lowered the price yesterday. Somebody had put nine ninety nine. I said no, no, no. It's seven ninety nine. So we're waiting for Steam to approve, and today at some point the game will be available for purchase. I'm really excited about it, but I'm. More than happy to be here launching and have you guys playing, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll I'll send you all the games that you do from now on, so it's okay. <laughs> D'ailleurs, um, Tati, qu'est-ce que tu penses du jeu bah écoute, c'est vrai que tout à l'heure il disait oui alors je te préviens le jeu est un peu compliqué. En fait c'est vrai que les gars en fait au niveau de la prise en main c'est facile parce que bon, en fait c'est un jeu 2D, on a un saut, on a une attaque, on n'a euh, pas de double saut. On a juste un double saut en fait avec ce personnage. Euh, et ce qui est bien, c'est ce qu'il disait, c'est que effectivement tu peux pas finir le jeu avec un seul personnage parce que en fait tu vas de, par exemple pour passer de la de à, à cette, cette, cette autre plateforme ici, tu vas pouvoir aller chercher avec ce personnage là. Et ce que, ce que je trouve vraiment fun, c'est que 
ils ont tous leur utilité, et ils ont tous leur, un peu leur capacité. Euh, les éléments sont bien respectés, le feu met plus de dégâts, la terre résiste plus avec son bouclier. Euh, L'eau, lui, euh, tape en range et euh, ils ont tous euh, une attaque chargée. Tous les personnages ont une attaque chargée. Euh, c'est vrai que c'est pas facile ce qu'il disait. Euh, effectivement, le jeu n'est pas, est pas simple. Mais je vois qu'il y a des petites runes euh, au-dessus du personnage. Et je me demande si c'est pas une capacité du team ou quoi. Et j'ai envie de lui poser la question. Uh, I just have a question, Rafael. What is that on the car? On the... Those yeah. are the powers you get on each level. Okay. So you get a special power for each character when this stage is uh, the one I showed you, fire and air. Yeah. So you get one special power for the fire and one special power for the air in that level. Okay. So you'll be able to have some new powers soon. I wanted to ask one question myself. What's the channel? Because I'm going to tweet here now that we're streaming live. Uh, and that's Warga TV. Warga TV. Warga no, TV. nice. Uh, okay. I need to follow. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. And you can uh, see uh, the, the video on the, on the page. Yeah, I will not log in now, I'll just tweet so that my yeah, the fans of Mito Games can connect. No problem. Dude. Yeah. And follow us because I'm a Wild yeah. now also, right? <laughs> Donc ça, ça c'est plutôt cool parce que ça veut dire que du coup il y aura une, une évolution au fur et à mesure des, ouais. euh, des stages qu'on va évoluer, du coup on aura des nouveaux pouvoirs et donc ça ça donne, ça rapporte une plus-value et, et euh, une certaine originalité dans, dans le gameplay pour pas que ça soit trop redondant aussi euh, dans, dans les levels. Donc ce personnage a l'air d'être plutôt fort pour pouvoir euh, se balader dans les plateformes mais on voit que ouais en termes de dégâts bah, c'est pas. C'est pas le plus fort quoi. C'est pas le plus fort en termes de dégâts, mais là tu vois, je suis curieux parce que j'ai envie de monter sur. Alors des fois c'est un peu compliqué aussi de monter sur la plateforme, mais là je suis assez curieux, j'ai envie d'aller sur la plateforme. Voilà, et là normalement voilà, je dois jouer. En fait, il y a un élément à aller récupérer et je crois que c'est l'ultimate du, euh, du personnage que je joue. Ouais. Et donc on va essayer d'aller le chercher. Bon timing, parce que tu vois, regarde, hop, ah, là, tu vois, là tu te fais avoir. Et très bien, je l'ai pas eu. Tu l'as raté. Je l'ai pas eu, on va retourner les gars, on va essayer d'aller le choper. Enfin, façon, sans perdre trop d'HP, ouais. Pour récupérer de la vie, tu sais comment on fait euh, Pour récupérer de la vie, il faut tuer des mobs ouais. euh, pour avoir des, euh, des barres d'HP. Attends, là on va essayer d'aller le chercher. Il faut le bon timing, c'est vrai que c'est pas facile. Hein. En fait, ça se resserre à un moment donné, je vais y aller maintenant. Ah oh, les gars, je l'ai pas. Et tu sais pas, fait plusieurs fois pour sauter plus Non, tu sais, en fait, tu n'as ah, que, que deux sauts. Que deux sauts. Ce qui fait qu'en fait tu vas devoir. Pas si broken euh, que ça du coup. Hein. Pas si broken que ça. Et euh, là par exemple, regarde, tu vois, lui il se déplace plus vite. Quand tu joues lui, regarde, il se ah, déplace il très long, lentement. Ouais, lui il se déplace, euh, ouais, est, on va dire que c'est ok. Ouais. Et lui il se déplace aussi euh, de, façon, euh, de façon assez correcte. Hop, on va essayer de monter ici. Et là maintenant on va essayer d'aller chercher. Et je pense que je dois y aller maintenant en fait. Yeah, there's yes. five collectibles on each level. Oh, you got an achievement. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's a uh, collectible. That's not a uh, power uh, up. No. No. <laughs> For the power up, you, uh, you need to, to beat a, a, a boss or, or something. At the end of the stage, there's a guardian for each level. So it's that, the tough part. This is the fun part. It's just having fun. When you see the guardian, then uh, the smile will go off. <rire> donc là c'était la partie fun apparemment donc pour avoir les pouvoirs ça se passe à la fin du level tu dois battre le boss okay. pour avoir les pouvoirs I think you should, you should go to the other side tu dois aller de l'autre côté yeah. ah merde ça... alors attends je vais me tuer <rire> voilà on va retourner à gauche je pense en me tuant parce qu'on avait un point de, de truc so uh, the game it's uh, uh, with levels I think there yes, are uh, levels four levels And one boss on the end of each level, and then there's the final boss, which is like the personification of all the other elements. And uh, how many time to beat a level? 20, 25 minutes if you play well. It can be more. It depends, yes. Yeah, it, it depends of the, of the, of the, the players. Minimum, it would be 15 to 20 minutes if you really know where to go and uh, how to kill the boss. But it really depends on the boss and the player. <laughs> and uh, you, uh, you told me that uh, you are going to do. Um, Another game with cooperation, it's like a platformer or totally another uh, gameplay with another game. One of the inspirations for this game originally was the game Four Vikings. Do you know a very okay. old Super yes, Nintendo okay. game? That yeah, you... yeah, that's okay. So we want to do something like that, but more, uh, it cannot be that static anymore. You know, the games change it and uh, people don't have patience to wait. And we can have four people at the same time. Okay. So maybe it will be a platformer, Metroidvania. Also like that, but when people play at the same time and they can cooperate, so we have to have a broader view, we have to have some rules so when somebody leaves the screen, we have to think all those things that we didn't want to think now, we will put in the next game. 
and of course I think obviously um, making a game with cooperation is uh, uh, a lot uh, a lot of harder that uh, for a solo game I think it's it's there are uh, uh, more difficulties to put uh, cooperation in a game um, yes that there's some things about the controller and I have to prepare it for that but I think the most difficult thing is to make co-op for online. Yes. If you want people with, uh, with server, computer, yes, because yes. then there's more costs involved. Uh, but we are up to do it. Uh, we're really interested. This is the next level for us in the games. Maybe the first game we released was called War Dogs, and it's a beat 'em up. We played a lot of beat 'em ups on Super Nintendo when we were kids, and it's always co-op. But the game was supposed to be a mobile game, okay. so there's no co-op, and we were okay. very frustrated. We wanted to make this game with the co-op, and then we said, "Oh, we can't do it yet." So the next game, we really want to make it, no matter what. <laughs> and so, what's the the goal, the objective with uh, four elements? Well, the the first, the main objective, to be really honest, with four elements was to get the approval from the consoles. Okay. So we made a game that we thought, okay, Nintendo Switch will like, uh, Nin PlayStation will like, and we will get approved, and that worked. So we got the dev kits for all of them now. We're working on it. Uh, but as I said, the company has more people than the team that develops the entertainment games. So, although I really want you all guys to buy the game and everything, but the good news is if the game doesn't even pay itself, it's not that problem for us now. We are really investing in the entertainment branch. Uh, we didn't have a fan base, people who know the game that will pray buy it and everything. So we did a Kickstarter campaign for that. We had some backers, the game was funded, which for us was a good success. Uh, but the idea is to keep growing the community, to make more and more games and more people know our work. And then we can focus from clients to entertainment realm, I hope. <laughs> okay, and um, uh, so I see the game, it's uh, it's a, a little bit harder, and uh, you know, now the game is uh, much easier than uh, the older game, like on Super Nintendo or Nintendo, the yeah. game was uh, much uh, harder. Um, it's important for you to make a difficult game? I like, I like. But one thing, when we make, for instance, achievements that the players don't like it, can have a really bad impact on the game. So instead of making the game easy, what we try to do is make a nice tutorial. Yes. So the player knows how to play, and uh, we can we want to show also how is the game is going to be played. So if somebody doesn't like to change characters, it's not very good. You have to be agile to make the changes and do the things. So we try to show it beforehand so that people who don't like playing that side of game won't have a problem. You know, and have bad reviews or anything. But I, I'm a bit old. I like old games. I'm from the time that uh, we had to buy a magazine if you want to have a sheet on a game. And uh, I wouldn't buy the magazine, I would just play, you know, and yes, play yes, and play. Yes. But something changed. Now if you play 10 minutes of the game and you don't like it, you just download another one. Back then we didn't have that option, also, we had to learn, you know. Of course, also with uh, uh, a lot of uh, surprise like Game Pass, mm -hmm. you can, you can uh, go uh, play a game on uh, in a few seconds, play another game. Uh, so uh, yes, it's uh, it's good and bad. But then for yes. the games, you have to make them more digestible at first. Yes, I think it's a good UX test, you know, uh, because we we must learn how to make it easy to understand, to make our game understandable in a few points. I'll give him a hint. You can just go down. I need I need to take this later. Later. Okay. You don't have the power yet. <laughs> But this is one thing, I like watching people play so we know when then when I see that this happens with many players, then we have to put something there, you know, to help the player because they will not have the patience and time. He's doing because he's doing a live and he knows, but one person at home might say, Oh, I stuck here, I don't want to yes, play anymore. Yes. And then the that's the game, you know? So we try to prevent that, making where the player will have difficulty, we make it easier. But just a bit. See, he realized that he should change to air to get the power, that's great. Okay. <laughs> now you have one power. <laughs> and I choose the power or not? No, no. no. Shlero has the powers. Okay. This is the power that you need to fight the boss of this level. It's just like Mega Man in that sense. And I think uh, for the next level, we will uh, he, uh, he will uh, have the the same power um, available. Available. Okay. Yes. Well, so that's why I say when you play the second level, it will be easier. The third level will be easier in that sense. Yes, because you have more power. Yeah, you have more maneuverability. <laughs> yes. This is really nice, you get invulnerable, but I also die a lot there. <laughs> it's not even about the height, it's about where you start and where you end, because it has a range of damage. It's not about the height, it's about where you start and where you end. Ah, it's not about the height, it's about where you start and where you end. 
Ah ouais, en fait, tu dois bien, bien, bien proche, en fait. Ok, yeah, yeah. okay thank you. Because ah. that's the first, it's more, it's more easier. It's easier yeah. <laughs> that's why I like to be when people are streaming. Please, please mark me, because then if I can, I will watch and try to help. Because it's good also for the people who are watching the game, your fans that are watching the game. If you struggle too much, the game doesn't look that interesting, you know? Alors là, je vais devoir, euh, là, je vais devoir aller sur la plateforme. Euh, je crois que je vais y aller comme ça. Essayez de pas perdre trop d'HP. Voilà. Du coup, tu, vois, tu recules quand tu tapes, en fait. Ouais. Et là, je pense qu'il faut pas tomber parce que si on tombe, on crève. Il oh, y a les pics. Donc on va faire ça. Et là, on va faire ça. Nice. Ah, ok. Là, on va monter. Et là, je suis obligé d'aller de l'autre côté, je crois. Je crois que je dois aller de l'autre côté. Ah non, on va se mettre ici. Ah oh, merde. <rire> Attends, on peut Ouh. pas prendre la plateforme là Attends, je vais réessayer. Ok, c'est bon. Et si je tape là, ok, ça se casse. Ah oui, parce qu'en fait, il y a aussi des rubis de couleur. Et en fait, les rubis de couleur qu'on voit, sont, sont, on peut les détruire via le personnage qu'on a. Et par chaque rapport à l'élément, quoi. Voilà, par rapport à l'élément. Et chaque élément a un, a un truc. Donc là, on est vraiment... Là, par exemple, c'est le rouge qui va pouvoir détruire. On va pousser la créature dans le vide. Au moins, on sait qu'elle meurt. Tu vois, c'est le rouge qui détruit les rubis. Ouais, euh, de couleur rouge, hop, ici on va faire ça, ici on va prendre le bleu pour pouvoir détruire le reste et, euh, et là maintenant on va pouvoir avancer dans le niveau petit à petit là je crois qu'on se fait suivre par une merde Et je vois dans le game design c'est uh, intuitif parce que vous pouvez essayer <laughs> because we can uh, so work the red stone with uh, fire, uh, the white stone with uh, the white element. You noticed that, but not everybody does. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, but it's on the tutorial, right? I think he played the tutorial, that's why he knows also. Uh, we can never underestimate the difficulties that players will have. So it's good to have uh, also written what's... We have a saying in Brazil, the obvious is only obvious when you know it. Yes. If you don't know, it's not obvious, you know, so... We try to make it less uh, intrusive, not to stop you every time to tell what you should do. But for instance, for the bosses, uh, there's a thing that you can do with each boss that is special. So if you die three or four times, then the next time you respawn, you will stop the game and say, listen, have you tried doing that? Yeah, OK. okay. So to give you a small hint. But we try not to make it all the time. Yes. Uh, when the, the, the player... I can't take that. I, yeah. You need another power from Earth. When the, when the player is uh, in difficulties, the, uh, you put uh, some advice to, uh, to help his... Sometimes. Family. We could do that to the boss because it's easier to spot when people have difficulties. It's just like rule. You see, that's the feather that you want to break now. And there's a firepower there, right? <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. Now you need to... Okay. Tu pas besoin de taper tous les ennemis, je pense. Tu as besoin du volant, là Ou c'est juste du collectible euh, je pense que je vais devoir, les gars, je vais, en fait là je vais devoir aller au-dessus. Comment on fait pour monter que Là le problème c'est que pour monter, là je vais devoir, euh, je vais devoir... Ah, là ça va être compliqué le faire. Là, ça sert à quoi ce petit truc là le... ben, Ça en fait c'est rien, c'est un ennemi. Ah, okay. Tu vois, regarde, je mets des dégâts à chaque fois. Et euh, le Là ouais, mais ben, là je pense que je suis mort, je dois, je dois mourir là. Um, now he is dead or he can do power? something You got the power? I was uh, watching. No. Nope. Nah, just go up. Ah, yeah. I can go up. Yeah. Yes, you can. Uh, you can use the the wall. The bird, yeah. Watch out with the spikes, but. <laughs> c'est pas facile, hein. C'est pas facile, les gars. C'est vrai que ça demande pas mal de mécanique, mais c'est bien parce que du coup, ça force euh, à être un peu. Et en fait, là, on remonte pour aller chercher ça. le feu. Voilà. <laughs> I, yes, we, we play a lot of, uh, of this game, like Celeste or... Yeah, there's Celeste and I forgot the, the name of the other one. It's a really good one, I forgot. It's not Celeste, there's also... There oh. are... You it's, will know. It, it's uh, a little bit different, but are we from the Blind of the Forest? Uh, yeah. It's a really, really also. nice uh, Metroidvania. Yes, uh, I'm really fun because uh, from Super Nintendo, Super Metroid and everything, when we discovered that you have to come back and do it, you make the map more worth it, it's nice. But... Uh, I'm older and I'm, I haven't played a lot of this recent titles, so it's very good for me to see the references that are growing, try to take things from those games and put in our game. Oh, I think he didn't read, see? You have a new power now. Do you have a new power? Like me? Do you know how to use it? Uh, like, like this? No? Yeah. Is there anything different that you can shoot maybe? 
peux shooter peut-être Like the feather Ah. Oh. <laughs> And you need that for the boss. That's why you have to do it before the boss or else you won't be able to beat I, I the boss. Go up or not? No. No. no okay. You can't go there. I was I also tried that last week. <laughs> Because they keep changing, you know, they see me playing, they see how I play and then the next build they try, oh, hey, Lontra cannot do that anymore. And in uh, this game there is a map or, or not? You cannot see the map. Okay. Because um, you know, I I played uh, Metroid Dread uh, on Switch, Metroid Dread, and it was really difficult to find the right way uh, because there are a lot of uh, mm -hmm. of way. Change and, rooms that change. Yeah, the, the room change, and it's. We uh, try not to have that many options, so we don't need the map. Okay. But I understand that for higher, bigger, bigger, okay. bigger games, you have to have the map. I'm one person that really gives up on games once you you haven't played for one month, and you get back to the game, you don't know what to do. Of course, that's yes. terrible, you know. That's so we try not to do that, but uh, because now I, I don't finish Metroid Red, but if I uh, play uh, like uh, at now? the moment, it's impossible to find the right way because I, I forgot all the, the information. Yes, that's exactly the problem with bigger games, RPG games, open world games. At some point, you say, which city should I go to? What yeah, should yeah, I be yeah, doing? Yeah. You know, and uh, so that's why we like those premium model games that we play like for two hours, three hours, and it's one good session. And you get the message at the end. Uh, we are focusing on that now. It's also because what we can do. But I really like those types of games, you know. And uh, there are some. <laughs> that was mean. That wasn't there in the previous version. This is new, you know. <laughs> yeah, he has to throw the fire now. Yeah, yeah the fire I didn't bomb. know that. Yeah. <laughs> and there is um, some uh, uh, save uh, on a level, or you need to. Uh... No. This is the save. You get to the checkpoint. Yes, and, and if then I if I close the game, and you have no. to start over the, the level. Okay. Unless so I give you a developer version, then you can go straight yeah. to the boss. <laughs> and uh, uh, so you need to, to beat a level to Break go the to crystal the crystal first. Nice. nice. Now you can go. It wasn't there. It wasn't like that like a week ago. So. Ah, you, put, uh, you put you put more element. Not me. The dev team. The dev, you know yes. they are mean. <laughs> They are soulless, actually. And I see there are uh, enemies. Um, I, I think we will uh, not uh, show all the levels. And uh, there is other enemy on the, the other levels, I think. Yes, some different enemies. But many of them will just be a different color. Yes, the really, the really main color, difference yeah. is the boss. Each each region has a really tough boss. Now he will be able to burn the, the feather there and we'll see the boss. This is a nice boss. And one thing, funny thing, I did all the soundtracks for the game. Yes, you did? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> And uh, you use an uh, instrument? No, just garage band. Uh, okay, yes. It's a <laughs> I'm a musician, but I use only garage band. It's a, it's a good... And the boss is here. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. So we will see the, the first boss of the game. Yes. Not the first one. Because Not you the could choose another... Uh, room, you know, yeah. Oh, okay, we can uh, play. Uh... You can choose which room oh, you're gonna go first. Okay. This is a very good choice, actually. This boss is not that difficult, and the, the powers are very useful. You know, the fireball is, is useful. The dash for the bird is one of the most useful skills yes. because you, you can dodge anything. <laughs> It hurts you. Careful. <laughs> Et t'as plus beaucoup de vie, hein. Ouais, je vais sauter au-dessus, non Ouais. Là, tu dois avancer, ouais. Attention. Ah, je pouvais utiliser ça pour tuer l'ennemi, tu vois. Ah, ben ah, oui, bon. ok. Ça ouais, fait un gros dégât de zone. Euh, je m'attendais pas à ça. Donc là, je vais devoir sauter, je crois. Ouais, sauter je... dash. Sauter dash. Oh là oh, Tout juste. Yeah, the wing helped a bit. <rire> Ah, le vent t'a aidé là. Ouais. Usually the wing doesn't help. Yeah, right now he got hit because of the wind. <laughs> so I need to, I want to know your impression. How hard are you thinking it is? By looking at it's him good, playing. It's good, it's good, it's a good game. It's your I, level of difficulty that you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, it's not too easy to to, to beat the level. To, to beat the, the monster, to beat the level. No, it's it's fine for the moment. I yes, want to have I, the opinion after I, the boss. I need to try out. So it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the game is, um, I think, really, really fast and really uh, fun to play. Uh, uh, the most, uh, I, I really, really like uh, um, the fact that we can uh, use four element and four power because uh, that puts some variety uh, in the game. 
and uh, we don't uh, do the same thing uh, over uh, and over. Over and over, yes. Uh, so uh, I think it's uh, a really good choice uh, to put uh, that in the in the game. Oh, thank you very much. I think the game designers will love to hear. I helped a bit, you know. I'm more like managing of the company and stuff. But I was, you know, the main beta tester also, along with the team that develops. Uh, I was the one who talked to the people who do the live streams and testing to get the feedback. So it's very good to hear from you guys. It's actually it's something that we can't do ourselves. We need to put it on in front of people who are used to play games and stream games and see what they think because uh, it really changes, you know. And we can make the game a lot better if we respect those opinions. It's not that you have, oh, whatever they say we have to do. No, no, no. But try to understand why they are saying about each aspect of the game. What some people, some game developers are very, how do I say, they take it personally. Oh, okay, yes. You can't take personally, no, you know. Of course, it's a game, it's a, it's a cultural Everybody's program. different, you know, yes. so. Oh, now it's a boss. You, you can't expect everybody to react the same, you know. Okay, oh, oh and um, the, the camera is uh, the camera it's far changed. away. Yeah. And uh, I just have this uh, HP, or can I uh, take. You can uh, find more if you hit him well enough, he will give you some more. But if you die, you start over uh, at him, you know? There's one achievement that's killing the boss without dying. You're in a hard spot for that. Il y a un achievement, en gros, il y a un succès où il faut tuer le boss sans mourir. Mais il lui a dit, en gros, tu vas pas l'avoir là, concrètement. T'as plus assez de vie. Ah ouais, mais. Ok, ah, no. Almost. The timing is really, really quick and very difficult. Yes. Ok. It's not meant to be easy. Ok. Ouais, en fait, tu dois timer, la, les, plumes. Tu dois timer les, les plumes au moment où il arrive. Vas-y. On va essayer les gars de le battre et, euh, et après on passera au prochain jeu qu'on ouais. va analyser juste après. Mais, euh, mais là c'est vrai que c'est pas facile du tout et je crois qu'il doit d'abord faire des dash. Pas de bêtises. In the magma stage you get a air dash with fire that helps you a bit because you can jump longer places. But you have also air, you could try to do that. My hint is you can hit him with the sword and anything. If you go to the right platforms, you can do a lot of damage to him okay, nearby. Okay. Yeah, but you have to go up. <laughs> en gros, tu peux le taper aussi à l'épée, enfin, si tu arrives à être proche de lui. Et en gros, il te dit, utilise l'oiseau, comme ça tu prends de la distance, et après, une fois que tu es au cac, but... That's how you do damage. <laughs> yes, it, oh, not, uh, not a lot, because uh, you have a, a strong, uh, a strong guild. It cannot be easy. <laughs> yes, of course. Ouais, il tank pas mal, hein, les gars, le boss. Ah, je, je pense qu'avec ça, tu peux lui mettre des gros... Oh Nice, you stunned him. Now you got some health. Okay, take the vida. Huh? And to move to the second stage. This oh. is a special attack from him. He will come at you, and if you have some lightened feathers on his way, he will hit it and then get stunned. He did it. That's nice. Very good. Et puis de fait, tu peux faire autant que tu veux. Ah, c'est long, hein? Ah yes, he he can't uh, spam the the fireballs to. To he uses mana. <laughs> yes, he uses mana, so... The water shoot, yeah, it's easier. But then it's less damage. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's not bad because you can attack it but it's not too much damage. It keeps getting harder. <laughs> yeah, there are some um, different... Uh... Oh, oh, nice. Nice, that's nice. You know, you already play better than me. Because <laughs> the first time, I, it took me a while to, to figure that, you know. Ah, he's gone. <laughs> it's really difficult to uh, to activate uh, the uh, to that uh, to catch him. Yes. Oh, he got you. He got you, I think. Ah, no, he got you. Okay. I thought you had you, but no. I'm going to see. Oh no! Nice. Oh no! There are a lot of things to. To think uh, in the in the in the combat, uh, you have four elements. You have the the power oh, up. Uh, you have you the, the level. Have this is how you stun him. So if he had more feathers, he could light one, and then if he hits with the head, then he will be stunned and give you health. Oh, okay. Oh, there's health there. And that little bit. If you kill him in one play, I think I'll be really amazed. Yeah, did you try that? Just the final option. At this moment. No, retain, don't stress him. I will not stress him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice try, nice try. Ah. Ça a été là. 
s'arrêter là malheureusement. Dommage. That's, that's a good game. I think you can stream the other games and yeah. uh, but it was yeah, a good yeah, shot. Yeah. I'm sure you'll try again. That was good. That was good and I'm gonna finish this boss but on my stream. Yes, yes. That I will follow you. Please message me your channel then yeah, I, yeah. I will try to be there. Okay, no problem. Okay. I'm gonna do that and on Twitch you put Taiti underscore Tricky. My name is Taiti and this his name oh, is Tricky. Nice. Then the game is good for you guys because it's tight and tricky also to get. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. You need to be tricky to. Uh, I will to write down the level. so that I know. Thanks a lot, Louise. Thanks a lot. Hello, Louise. Hello. Uh, yes. So uh, that was so fun, Raphael. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, I take a lot of a uh, lot of pressure to to play this game. That was so good. And yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad it's to hear difficult. that. But it's not over the point, right? You, you see yeah, that yeah, yeah. Yes. if you played a bit better, you yes. could have beaten yeah, the boss, yeah, yeah. even with little health. Yes, and with one or two try uh, yeah. more, you, you can, can upgrade uh, your level and your, your level. Be better, your, your gameplay level. That's the idea. So you learn a few tricks and learn the boss movements, and then yes, no, the the, the mechanic of the of the boss. Yes. It's not the same. You all know? the bosses would be a lot different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you need you need to learn uh, the the mechanics of the and boss. And all the character is not easy because the fire is not the same that the well the wine so mm -hmm. the water is different. So if you understand all the characters, it's more easier. More easier. But you did a lot good because you changed it to air the first time they came with the the. Yes. Yeah. The fire, this is yes. how people die usually in this yeah. boss. Thank you. Thanks Thank you guys. Thanks it was amazing. It was my pleasure. Thanks I will follow your channel Thank and you. I watch the stream. Thank please you. let me know, then I'll thank be you, there. Friend. Yeah, you guys. Have a nice day. Stay the same, you're a good guy. Ah, oh, thank you. Stay I'm not more Belgian now, so you still want to be. <laughs> bye, thank bye. You. Voilà les gars, donc ça c'était le jeu, le jeu de Raphaël qui était vraiment super cool. Euh, t'as super bien géré l'interview en anglais, tu m'as impressionné. Panique, hein, un peu. Mais t'as géré de ouf, hein. En fait, parce que les gars, je vous dis, on avait préparé 4-5 questions, frérot, je vois que le... En plus, moi je me dis, Tahiti, fini vite ce level, parce que tu vois, le, le, le truc, ça continue à avancer. Je vois que j'ai plus de questions, frère. Ah non, 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 c'était... Euh... Euh... 